Hi all. Today let's see how we can improve the performance of an Angular application by making use of pure Angular pipes. So I have created an Angular 13 application and this consists of two fields, one which will accept first name and other is the last name. Now the main thing I am going to do is that I need to concatenate both these names and create a full name. So for that purpose, here I am making use of a template function. So the function is this. Inside the function, I am logging a console and basically I am concatenating the first name and the last name. So the problem with this approach is that if we run our application, so let me refresh the application. You can see that initially itself, the console log is getting log twice. This is when the value got changed. So that's fine. Now you can see that whenever we do any action on this page, actually the function is getting executed repeatedly. So why this is getting executed twice? It is because we are running the application in the development mode. So during the development mode, what happens is that Angular will run a second round of the chain detection in order to see whether any parent value has actually changed after the chain detection has been run on the child. So this is basically a safety check and happens only in the development mode. So in order to get the actual performance, let us run this application in the production mode. So for running in the production mode, we can use the ng serve itself but I will be enabling the prod option. So our application has been built in production mode and now basically we are serving it in the production mode. So now if you go to our application, you can see that previously the log was getting consoled four times. So now it is reduced to two times. So this is because the second chain detection will not be run in the production mode. So the issue still exists like whenever we do an action like doing a blur operation from an input field that particular function will get executed and this is not an expected behavior since we do not need this actual function which calculates the value here to execute on each and every chain detection cycle so we need to execute that only when the actual value changes for either of these fields the major drawback of making use of this kind of template function that is basically we bind a method to our HTML template. It is that during each chain detection cycle this particular method will be executed and it can cause performance overheads. So in this example I am making use of this method to display some value. We can use such template functions for any purpose like maybe getting a dynamic result and we can bind it to a ng class or ng style or anything. But the main drawback is that the function will get executed during each chain detection cycle and it can impact the performance. So now let's see what is the alternative to making use of the template functions in this scenario. So we can make use of an angular pipe. So this is the pipe which I have created. That is the name pipe. So for creating a pipe, you can add the decorator at the right pipe to a class and you can give the name of the pipe. So whatever name you give, that will be the name of the pipe which you can use in the HTML or the template. Within the class which is used for creating the pipe, we need to implement the pipe transform interface and it basically implements the method transform in which you can pass a value and along with that you can pass multiple arguments. So in this case the value is the first name and the argument here I am passing it as a last name. So within this transform we can do the logic which we want to do which is exactly similar to what we did here. And we are just returning that concatenated string. So now let's go ahead and replace the template method. 
with the pipe so here we are passing the value to this pipe and to that pipe we are passing the last name as a parameter which we defined here so now when we run our application you can see that the same behavior is getting displayed and this time you can see that only a single time the pipe logic is getting executed so if you see within the pipe i have added a console.log and whenever i do a blur operation on either of the input fields it does not recalculate the logic which i have defined within the pipe so this is the performance optimization we can achieve by making use of a pipe so the pipe will get executed only whenever the value changes for either of the first name or the last name other than that it will not be executed so this kind of pipe is called a pure pipe so the pure pipe is based on the pure function concept which basically means that whenever we pass a particular input or argument to a function it will always return the same value as the output such kinds of functions are called pure functions and they will not have any side effects so the pipes are also similar so in this case whenever we pass a particular input to this pipe it will always return the same value so it will not recheck for the value change during the chain detection cycle and it does only when the actual input to the pipe changes so now let's create another pipe which basically what it does is that this is the filter pipe what this pipe does is basically it will accept value as a string array and we can pass the length which is a second parameter that's a number and using this pipe we will basically filter out all the names which have this particular length which we passed as the input so here also i am logging the console now within our app component i have defined a names array that is a string array and whenever we enter some name within the first name field and when we click on the add name button we will be pushing that value to within the names array and in the html here we are making use of the filter pipe and the value which we are passing is the names array and the parameter will be 5 so basically any name which has the length of 5 characters it will be pushed to the names array and we will be displaying the value here and also below that we are displaying the contents of the names array so that we can see what are the contents that are currently present in the names array so when we refresh our application you can see that initially the filter pipe is called and currently it does not have any value that is displayed here now let's add the name john so here you can see that the json pipe is displaying the content but since this is only four characters the filter pipe does not show any value so now let's add a new name this is actually five characters now when we press on the add name button you can see that actually our filter pipe is not getting executed even though the names array has the five character first name so what happened so if we closely look into our code so here on click of the button we are calling the add name method and we are passing the first name so within the add name method what happens is basically we are pushing the new name to within the name array so here actually we are not changing the address of this name array but we are just modifying the contents so one problem with pure pipes so as you can see here the filter pipe is a pure pipe one limitation of the pure pipe is that it will not check for any change within the contents of a complex input like object or array so in this scenario since we are making use of a string array whenever a value is pushed within this array 
the pipe will not detect that but it will detect only when the address of this input array changes so how we can fix this situation so there are two ways one way is that we can make this pipe as a impure pipe so for that you can add the key pure and pass the value as false so now what this pipe does is that it will be looking for any change within the contents of this array as well so if you refresh the application you can see that now the filter pipe is actually getting executed similar to our template method it will be run on each and every chain detection and when we press on the john you can see that the filter pipe got executed but no value has come actually even when we perform a blur as well again you can see that the filter pipe is getting called so this is similar to our template method which is a performance issue but when we add a five character name into this array you can see that our pipe actually executes that and we can see the result here so this is one way in which you can solve this situation but it is a performance intensive one so another way in which we can solve this is not using the impure pipe but instead of pushing this value what we can do is we can change the address of this array so basically we can do something like this we can create a new memory and then we can we can concatenate the name to this particular list so now when we refresh you can see that since this is a pure pipe it will be executed only a single time initially and when we press a four character when we add a four character name it will not display the name here in the filter but when we try to enter a five letter word you can see that our pipe works as expected and here in this scenario you can see that since it is a pure pipe the blur and all those kind of actions which are not related to the pipe they will not be triggering the re-evaluation of our pipe so hope you are able to get a good idea about how we can make use of pure pipes to improve the performance of our application and also the performance issues which can be created when we make use of template methods or impure pipes in our application. See you soon. Thank you.